What's going on guys? And welcome to a Friday vlog. And guess what? We're gonna be having a flashback Friday story. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna tell you a story about a time that a dude came up to me in my car and solicited me prostitution. So, stay tuned for that. That'll be towards the end of the vlog. But stay tuned for that so you can check out that story. I'm sure you guys will like it. So, she decided she wanted to play some Mario again. So, she's gonna play some Mario Kart. You gotta sit back. You don't realize you're blocking half the TV right now. You're gonna kill me. You look like one of those disabled ladies in the hospital bed. Fuck you, man. Let's see if you guys can mess her up. See if you guys can get her, her head to move. Mess her up, guys. Yeah, there, get Mess her up. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's kind of fun. Mess her up. She's over here. Okay, mess her up. Come on. Watch her eyes. Watch where her eyes and her head goes to. <laughs> I like this stick. You are a stick. Will you see what they're barking at, please? Will you grab my stick later tonight? Oh, oh, oh. Get in her face, guys. Get in her face. Get in her face. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna scare people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the freaking volume. I'm gonna up the volume and <laughs> you're gonna scare the crap out of people. <laughs> no! Let's go to the ceiling. Guys, go. That's how high you can get. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Hopefully soon, I'll be a little bit slimmer when I do this. So this dick decides, while she's playing Mario Kart, that she wants some potatoes made. Why? Because I'm not hungry. What? I'm a hungry motherfucker. Why are you summoning me to the kitchen? Because that's where a husband belongs when his wife is playing Did Mario Kart. When his wife's playing Mario Kart? Shoot. What kind of potatoes do you want? Roasted garlic and herb. That sounds kind of fancy. Let's see if we can do that. So she wanted some roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Here you go. Bon appetit. Two cups of water. Now boil. Okay, water is boiling. Let's turn it off. Let's take it over here. We're gonna dump potatoes in there. Get it all. Yeah. And we just stir. And watch the magic happen. Oh, I just got it all over my pants, but that's alright. Once it just absorb that water. It's crazy. So just keep oh man, it actually does smell good. You get a plate. Boom. That's how you do it. Bam. Bam. That's what happens when you have one person who loves mashed potatoes. It's not really that hard. You just dump it in one plate for her. Let's make it look presentable. I know. How do you make potatoes look presentable that are fake pot or dry potatoes? And this much. There we go. Let's serve the woman her platter of instant garlic potatoes. But first, we need to make sure that I did not poison this food. You know, for it being instant, it's good. You taste the garlic, that's what matters to me. I think it's real good, and I know she'll like it. Woo! 
That's real good. I need some noodles now and some chicken. Mm -mm -mm. I How barely are... just grabbed my plate and look. How are they? Try them. They're good. Instant? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh huh. But they're good. <laughs> Well, hello there guys so I'm getting ready for work at the bar I don't know what do you guys think of this shirt I haven't been able to wear it in a while I had some really bad love handles you guys think it still looks okay right <laughs> you guys tell me so we'll see it's comfortable and that's what I like and it's a tank top Just act like you're gonna conquer me. Okay, so it is currently 1.30. I'm getting ready to go pick up Melissa from the bar where she's been working. But first, I wanted to tell you guys about the story about when I was solicited prostitution. So this was back in I think it was 2007 in Hayes, Kansas and I was going to college at Fort Hayes State University well I at the time I was living with my parents and I would drive to Hayes which was about 50 miles 55 miles I drive there almost every day well there would be times I'd have two to four hours between my classes right well what I do I'd go to the park Frontier Park if you guys know and I'd usually hang out and eat or do my homework in my car, whatever. I'd hang out at the park. Well, there was one day in 2007, I decided to take a nap. I had, I think, three or four hours. So I pulled my car up under some trees, because you get, there's a lot of trees there. And I lean back and I take a nap. Well, I wake up to somebody walking in front of my car pretty close. Kind of like the instinct, like, because I had my window down. And I kind of open my eyes and I, out of the corner of my eye, I see a guy walking and it's like he's headed towards the bathrooms. I, I'm laying there still trying to wake up. And all of a sudden, this dude is right at my door, right? I'm like, what the heck? And he looks at me, he's like, hey, my friend was looking for somebody to have sex with. I was wondering if you'd want to have sex with my friend. I was like, no. And I knew he was lying. He wasn't talking about no friend. I looked at him straight in the eyes. I'm like, no. He's like, are you sure? I'm like, yes. And so he goes back to his vehicle on the other side, like, because it's a big loop. He goes back to the other side. There was nobody even with him in his vehicle. The dude was wanting to pay me to have sex with him. No, no way. And I never thought in a million years in that park, in that town, I'd have some random freaking dude wake me up from a nap to ask to give me money to have sex with him. So there is a story about me being solicited for prostitution in good old Hayes, Kansas. So you know what? It's, it's late enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I'm going to go pick her up. We're going to go to sleep. It's been a long freaking day. I hope you guys have been enjoying the daily vlogs because I've been loving filming and editing. And we're going to continue to do it. So for Melissa and for all the animals, that's going to be it. And we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.